Good morning, or shall I say, happy lunchtime. Here I am, back, week two, social distancing, day one. I'm going to categorize this by what week and what day we're in. So if you want to go back and search for these videos, um, that might make it a little bit easier. So... How is everybody this week? I can't believe we're on week two now. Hopefully this won't get into a whole lot of weeks. And of course, here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, we have rain again. So if you got to get out yesterday in that little, what do we have, four or five hour window of sunshine, kudos for you to you. So I did get out and pull some weeds. Happy times. So I'm a little sore today. I thought today I would share a technique on uh, folding hearts to create a flower. I saw this, uh, somebody else did this and I thought, oh, that is so cute and it adds dimension. So I thought I would try it and I would share how to do it. It's so easy. Here's the card I created last night and hopefully you can see how the the petals just kind of stand up there. And this one I used are stitched heart thin cuts. I love these. And there's four sizes on here. This particular one, uh, it looks like you might think I used the big heart, but that one is actually too big. I used this uh, second largest heart. Hi, Sue. Thank you for joining me today. So, I wanted to create another card. I wanted to show you. This, of course, is the Yesterday and Today paper. That's the paper um, that we are really focusing on this month. Next month, I'll be doing a lot of things with Seize the Day. But uh, for now, this is Yesterday and Today. So, of course, if you watched my videos the other day when I used this paper and I said I really liked peach with this, um, so of course that is what I use. But um, I thought, what other color should I use for this espresso color? So I went to my color book, Love of Color. This is our little how-to book, and this is so helpful when you aren't sure what colors to put together. Just pull out your Love of Color book, and I went to the page for Espresso, because that is the main color of the paper, to see what else goes with it. And look, there's peach right there, peach and sage. And the other color it shows on here, suggested, is Toffee, Peacock, Glacier, and Pebble. So that made me think, hmm, maybe I'll make a flower using the colors of Peacock and Glacier. So I have already pre-cut some hearts out of Peacock and Glacier right here. The card pattern, I wanna show you the card pattern I use. The card pattern is in our Make It From Your Heart, Volume 4. This is all cards. And when I created this card last night, I knew that I wanted a card that could handle a big flower. So I kind of flipped through the beginning, and, and I love this about these books. It just shows just the sketch. So, you know, sometimes when you look at something, you... Uh, get certain things stuck in your head when you see it a certain way, but when you see just a plain basic sketch, that kind of helps. So, uh, where's the one that I pulled out? This one, right here. This is the one that I used to create this card right here. And of course, I added um, cardstock for the base and a, and a little piece on top of that. So, um, that is the one that I use for this, but I want to, I'm going to create, I'm going to use sort of this, I'm going to use the same pattern, but for this card, I wanted to make it a vertical card instead of horizontal. I wanted to have enough room to stamp a little bit of a sentiment. So that is why I went with the, the next size down 
uh, smaller heart because I wanted my flower to be smaller. And um, so I've already, I, you can see I've inked the edges of this just to make the process go a little bit faster. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these pieces on right here just to kind of show you how I adjusted a little bit using the same sketch, yet making it a vertical card instead of a horizontal card. Let's get that. Use my. So this is the base. Let's see who else. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Dinah. I'm glad that you two are joining me today. This just goes right on the center. I love this paper, it's so pretty. So here is my piece that goes across. And of course, I have cut it, um, cut it down to fit this card in a vertical way. And I'm just gonna, going to center that on. Use my little mat for Now, on, I didn't want to use the same measurements for this big square, because it's really big, and I really like the paper, and I wanted it to show some. So, this one, let's see, I cut it three by three, by three. and then this one is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I will put that right there in the center and you can still see this lovely paper there. Hi Krista, hi Jonna. Everybody taking a lunch break today? I haven't had lunch yet, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna get. Y'all will be happy to know that I went to the grocery store and got meat. No toilet paper though, no toilet paper. My husband is getting a little panicked. We have eight rows, but he's a little panicked. <laughs> Thinking of the future, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now I've got this base down. So now, let's start on the flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate. What I did is I cut four of each color. This has eight hearts. So I cut four of each color. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take my bone folder and it might be easy to score the center, but I'm I'm lazy. I'm just gonna going to fold it in half and use my bone folder to fold it um, down to give it a real crisp edge there. Make sure I didn't go too much. I hope my hands aren't just totally in the way here. So again, um, if, if you read my note that I this was coming up and I was going to do this, you, if you don't have the stitched heart thin cuts, of course you can um, use any kind of heart. Maybe you have other heart die cuts or, or if you have the Cricut, you can cut some hearts with your Cricut. I just love the stitched. Um, anything with stitching with a stitched look, I like. So that's why I chose these. Okay, so now we are ready to put them on. And I'm going to start up here a little bit because remember, this is going to be about this big. So I'm just gonna place these there. I'm gonna go right. ahead and stamp so that when I do my flower, I will uh, kind of know where my stamping is going to, going to be. I, I'm going to use this stamp with Heartfelt Sympathy. I showed this the other day. It's got some really great um, sentiments on it and I'm just going to do a thinking of you and inside I can use one of those longer I didn't get my long block out but anyway this is a brand new one so I'm gonna 
season it by rubbing it on my arm. It just helps so much when you use a stamp for the very first time. Let's see, my espresso ink. Oh yeah, it's right here in front of me. I'm just gonna stamp right down here at the bottom. There we go. So now I am ready to put the card, um, put the flowers on the card. So if I know if I go about like this, okay, and I'm gonna do every other color. And when I was doing this, this one, I found the best thing to do was to start one at the top and one at the bottom, and that will help you space out your flowers. And if you kind of mess up, you can easily move them around unless you have some kind of really um, sticky glue. But I want to make sure that all my petals are going in the same direction. So as I put these on, I'm going to match up the center Wonder, might need I'm gonna just place these on here yeah there you go I should have done this one right there so if you're using two colors your top and bottom will be the same color. So then my next one, and you can see how I've kind of overlapped just a little bit. That one already has sticky on it. And I'm just kind of picking them up and adjusting them just a little bit on the page, um, spacing. And my last one here. I'm going to go over that with my phone folder just to make sure it's good and good and flat, but yet it still pops up. Now for the center, I've got these little pearls here, but I'm going to color it. I'm gonna use my tri-blend marker. Any alcohol marker will work. You can color. Uh, that one's not showing up very good. Let's use this darker one. You can color um, our pearls with any alcohol marker. So that gives you a, a huge array of colors then. And I'm gonna stick that right on here. Push it down. So there you go. This is this was a quick one today. This one, this is two cards, the same pattern, adjusted for a vertical and, um, and horizontal. And then you have a large flower and a smaller flower. So remember, the, uh, the hearts that I used were this one for this card and this one for this card. So... I could, just a little bit of accent there, I could add a little heart that color. Let's see. 
get out my sometimes when you look at things you just gotta add something else so I'm going to cut out a little stitched heart with my thin cuts you know how I am about white space see a lot of white space on there very well I need to do that one more time sorry I'm using a piece of scrap paper and the bottom of my heart is missing a missing the tip What do you think? Better? So, there you are. Flowers with made out of hearts. So, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. Come back tomorrow at 1145 and I will have another little crafty something to share. I guess I got about 24 hours to decide what it's going to be or tonight. So if you have any suggestions for uh, something that you want to see, be sure and comment on this post. So everybody have a great lunch and I'll be back tomorrow.